what is going on people so here we are part two so if you're following along maybe you're watching all three sections of this and that's cool the last one was all the other boost type shoes like the more lower level ones like nmds and stuff like that and now we are on to the yeezys after this will be the ultra boost in case that's what you're wanting to see just wait a little bit but yeah so it's a fair amount here, right? You, you can only see so many in the shot because there's also some on the floor. But uh, real quick, before we go getting all into this, take a, take a moment to guess how many pairs of Yeezys I have, right? Maybe you'll be right. I can't tell you right now if you're going to be right or wrong because I don't even know. I just know that it's more than a few, less than enough. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into this. And first, we're going to start off with this box right here. A350 box. Yeah, big surprise, right? So, let's get this thing opened up and whatnot. So, here we have this right here. They were like the Oreo uh, release from 2016, the end of 2016. Now, this was my first pair of Yeezys, right? Which is why I wanted to start with this one. So, they've kind of been, been through a fair amount, right? But at the time, it was one of those things where, like, Yeezys actually mattered to people then. Nowadays, it's like, well, whatever, it's just another shoe, right? But then, since not everybody had them, it's like, oh, wow, Yeezys, wow, yay, cool, or something to that effect. But my friend, he had somehow managed to get a pair of these, like, nine and a half, and he was going to trade them for his size, which was, like, 11, something like that. But... Luckily enough, he managed to also get through on an 11, which kind of says a lot back in that time frame anyway. So he asked me, I'm like, hey, uh, you want these shoes? Like, I'll give them to you for retail plus whatever it costs to ship them to wherever you live. And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. So I got these. The only, the only little criteria thrown on top of that or whatever, little catch was like, he told me like, hey man, if you can't fit them or whatever, it's like, send them back so I can like, and I'll like resell them or whatever. Because it's kind of like, not cool to like, have somebody like sell you something for retail, like a friend of yours, and then you just turn around and resell it, right? Like, what what's that all about? People do it. That doesn't make it right, but people do it. Anyway, so, starting into this here mountain. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put all these things as I do these unboxings. This is the linens, right? <laughs> Pretty sure it's the linens. Yeah. Remembering all these names, not so easy. One of the things about these, kind of with like the Desert Sages, I really like the way the strip is on the side here. Pretty cool when you hit the flash on it. But anyways, yeah, the linens, right? One of the colorways that people didn't think would look so great, but then it actually did. So, there's that. And next, take this one here. This is, oh yeah, yeah, the Zions. A recent release. I actually have two pairs of these because I was hoping that, and I'm still hoping, that I can trade one for a pair of marshes or a pair of sulfurs. Either one would be fine. I just, I'd like them both in the end. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the Zions, not a bad color. It's got that little chocolatey sort of brown thing going on. Kind of cool. A lot of people like those. Like people that don't normally go after Yeezys after they saw them, they're like, oh yeah, these are actually not terrible like those other ones. Right? Because everybody's always kind of split. And I get it. You know, you have the diehard people, then you have everybody else. Why is this box back here? Yeah. Whatever. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, the Yeek Shields or whatever, the fruit cakes. So these right here, wore these to Iowa for Christmas because I needed something that wouldn't really show how dirty it got while I was out there tromping around or whatever. So, here's this right here. These are a very easy to come by shoe. They look pretty nice though, once you actually like look at them and stuff, outside of pictures and whatnot. And the 3M on the laces is always a nice touch. Okay, moving along. Man, this is, 
again, like I said in the last video, I'm not doing 4K this time because I know these things are going to be long and like the file size just becomes ungodly to work with, you know what I mean? And since most people watch in 1080p anyway, it's kind of like fine to me. Though, for people who are like content creators, if you shoot in 4K and you downsize to 1080, you're going to walk away with like a better video anyway because it can gets smaller better like if you're zooming in or you're changing like the resolution of something smaller yeah totally better but whatever this what is this like a the yishawa maybe no nope, the citron this is the citron yeah a lot of these things look alike which is an argument that people make all the time but the thing is like of course they're gonna look alike they only have like the one or two stitching patterns that they generally use the Zions, I think it was, were a little little bit different. No. What came after that? The one where that little bungee cord thing on there. This for reals. Those were slightly different, at least on the inside. But overall, they've got like two styles they do. You see they're all flat like a sesame or it's done like the statics. And then, you know, you have a bunch of colors and eventually they're all going to look, they're going to be similar, right? But again... When people do that on like Jordan 1s and stuff, it's fine, or 11s, it's fine, but it's not okay when Yeezy does it to some people. Anyways, this is a Citroen, right? So it's kind of got this little greenish sort of tint going on. If you're seeing that, I hope you're seeing that. But anyways, when I first bought these, it was through Adidas, and then they were like, oh, we can't find your shoes, dude, sorry about that. So they canceled the order. This was spread out over like two weeks of back and forth emails. And then right after they cancel the order, it's like, hey, we're doing a restock on Citroëns, yay. It's like, wait a second. That sounds awfully suspicious to me. But luckily, StockX came through and I was able to buy these for under retail, actually. So that was pretty nice. I don't know, where's that thing? Yeah. And we got the little, little thing in here. And if you happen to see my Citroën video, that is one of my favorite thumbnails. It's like the ridiculousness of it, I don't know. I just really like that one. You know, I don't think the video was watched a whole lot, which is un understandable, but I had a good time making that one, even though it was only like a, a couple seconds to like take the picture. But yeah, go click the link that will have been above if you care to see it. Well, actually, like if you click the link, it's just gonna go straight to the video. Scroll through my videos and then you'll see it. So there won't be a link above. Anyways, this right here, the blue tent. So this was the first pair of shoes that I bought in a 10 right because people would often say go up half a size go up half a size go up half a size and i was like fine let's see what that's all about did it didn't care for it i stick with true to size also i got these i had two pairs of these i ended up selling one because i didn't want to pay for a plane ticket because you know why not so i got through on the first pair almost immediately it's like on release day for those royal toe ones through YCMC yeah they did that little like the little walking guy and when he gets to the end like that's when you get in and you can buy your pair did that whole thing I was in and checked out like within five minutes of release a little too easy so I sat on the Adidas site for the next like four hours so I could buy a second pair just to make sure I actually got one and I did well I mean I got both like I said one is how I got from I don't know, South Carolina to Washington or something? I don't know. I went somewhere. Uh, hmm. Hyperspace or Cloud White? Cloud White. So these are the Cloud Whites, right? Uh, these... Uh, looking at these now, I almost feel like this is my first time seeing them. Right? Which is kind of where the loss for words came in. But these aren't bad. It's kind of a weird sort of color. Like... I don't know what it is, but it's just kind of a weird sort of color. But yeah, cloud white, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people seemed like they were into those as well. I was probably indifferent, as I often am. I, that tends to be my thing. It's like, yeah, you know, it's fine. That's always what I say. Something of that nature. Uh, the is for reals. We were just talking about these guys, right? So like I was saying, on the inside, the stitching pattern here is a little bit different than what you see on other shoes that are similar. And I think even on this side, it's not like that as well. But anyways, very soft though. 
So these right here, are kind of like a bluish, kind of a sagish sort of mix there. Pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what everybody else thought, but I was cool with them. So there you go. There we go. Let's keep this moving. I'm trying not to dwell on things too much, because otherwise this video is going to be like multiple days long. I mean, again, we've got a lot of 350s to work through. Only two non-350s, right? Because, you know, you like what you like. What is this? This is a, this is the Yeshaya? Yeah, Yeshaya. So this one's got some, it's got a slight tint of like a very lime, light, light, light lime going on down at the bottom here. You can only see it from certain angles and you have to truly believe if you want to see it, right? You gotta believe that it's there, then it appears. And it's got 3M on the laces, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, these, I don't know, nothing amazing to me. I saw these in a picture the other day and I didn't see the name. I was like, oh, I've never seen those before. I have, I, because I have them. You know, you, you have enough stuff. Some of it's gonna be forgotten about. It just happens. All right, next up. This will be the specimen. I actually wore these not too long ago because I was thinking they would be darker when I pulled them out of the box. They're not, this is what they look like. So it's one of the earlier pairs that I got, if I remember right, mm, right? Yeah, because I want to say this was like a 2018 release, I think. But yeah, I actually was wearing these pretty regularly for a while, you know? Not like weekly, but for someone who has a large shoe rotation, it was often. So, but since, like in the last, like, this year, I think I've only worn them at one time. But I do like them, I, I don't know, it's just, a, it's a simple color, you know what I mean? It's not doing too much. It's kind of laid back, you know? It's kind of somewhat like me, you know? Just like I'm darker than those. And this, is this the hyperspace, maybe? No, this is the Lundmark. The, oh, yeah, yeah. The Lundmark, right here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I made a video for these, and then on the title, it's like, I flew 6,000 miles for Yeezys. You know, one of those clickbaity style things. But I truly did, because I had to have my sister get these. There was, they weren't released in Charleston. I was living in Korea at the time, so whatever. So they weren't released in Charleston where my parents were, but they were released where she was. And I was like, well, if I get them through her, when I go there to visit, I can pick them up and blah, blah, blah. So couple extra hoops to jump through but I did get them and they look very much like a just faded out static right but whatever it is what it is I got them in the collection and one of these days maybe maybe this will be the month I'll actually wear them I mean I do need to go to the gym later I like to wear Yeezys at the gym because they're comfortable you know What is this gonna be? Okay. This is the static. This thing is pretty nice looking. Like, I mean, I've worn these a lot, you know what I mean? But every time I, I look at these, I'm like, man, these are all right. Like, this is one of my favorite pairs of Yeezys. I remember getting the compliment from some old dude at the post office, like, well, those are some nice shoes there, guy, or whatever he said. And I'm like, yeah, man. So, yeah, that happened. And then I moved on with my day. Kind of like how right now I'm moving on with my reviews. Not reviews, not even unboxings. It's just a big old collection video. This should be the last one, though. Like, this today, like what I'm doing. Because there's no real other collection videos for me to do. I've done my... I mean, I might do 11 spots. No, I don't have, like, 4 or 5 11s. That doesn't even make sense. So, okay, yeah, these, these are the hyperspaces. So this pair right here, these actually look a little cooler than I was thinking they did. I thought they were, I didn't remember the, the green being so green. But anyways, these were a, not a Korea, an Asia exclusive. And since I was there at the time, I was able to pull these off. 
had to fight through some hordes of Chinese resellers and whatnot, but at the end of the day, I did walk away with these and the Mars Landing 90s because they came out on the same day. But yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. I tell you though, like, I, that night, the night before that, I stayed in a, an Airbnb and just like trying to find that place and just, I had to use all my survival skills like that evening just to, just to make that happen. So in the end, you know, there's a nice little story attached to those shoes. I'm not going to get all into it because I've mostly covered it, but detail wise, there's other stuff. It was a good, it was a good experience in some ways. The Beluga 2s, what was this? I think this might have been the first 350 that I bought for myself. I don't remember the exact time frame, but I didn't start hitting on the raffles until late 2017. And I don't remember the order of releases, but whatever, whatever came out in the second half of 2017, you know, that order is whatever came first for me. But yeah. I also wear these a fair amount, the Beluga 2s. I mean, some people like the Beluga 1s more. I kind of would lean towards these. I mean, some would say, like, well, the best one is the one you have. And it's like, that's a cop-out. But sometimes it is kind of true in some ways, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's pull these things over here. Man, still with me, guys and gals. We're almost done. We're, at, we're past the halfway point. Yeah. These right here, the zebras. A lot of people like these as well. I do too, right? I'm in that group. I remember when my mom sent me these because she had to pick them up through the Rathblad one in Charleston, somewhere at the, one of the malls out there. And she had also sent me some hair stuff, you know what I mean? And she just... It was like a jar or whatever, and she just sat it inside this box. Like, didn't wrap the, the bottle or anything, just put it in here. And so, of course, to make a point to her, I call her. And I'm like, Mom, like, there's hair stuff spilled all over these shoes. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, Tristan. I'll, I'll, I'll get you some new ones. Like, like, and I'm like, they're sold out. Remember, there's a raffle. And she's like, oh, where can I, where should I buy them? And I, so I send her, like, a screenshot from StockX of how much a nine and a half is going for at that point. And she was like, oh my God, like these cost that much? I'm like, no, nah, it's fine, they're, they're good. You didn't mess anything up this time. But for the future, don't do that. She's like, oh my God, thank you. Okay, cool. So lesson learned. Also, same thing goes to anybody out there. If you're shipping stuff, be smart about it, okay? I've seen a lot of fellow YouTube people making reviews and it's like they receive these shoes they get from eBay and it's like, yeah, here's the shoes, dump them in this bag, throw a late one and send it on out. It's like, what? Or they just put the shoe in the box like this and just like tape around it and like, all right, be free, shoes. I mean, I know Nike does that with the space hippies, but a lot of people don't like that either. I mean, they're like a big old corporation. So don't do that. Be smart with the shipping, people. These would be the senders, right? Yeah. These are the senders, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people compare these to the black statics, which makes sense because they're, they're both very dark colored shoes. The statics aren't really a full on black. It's kind of like a weird darkish gray sort of thing. I did a comparison review on, on both of these, kind of talking about the differences so people could see that side by side. I don't remember anything about that video, nothing. I know that people, some people found it helpful so if you're wondering what the differences are, I cannot tell you, but if you find a review, that will tell you. All right. This, I wonder how long this thing's been going on. Sometimes I'm pretty decent about like keeping track in my mind about like how long I've been talking about stuff, but that's usually when I just try to. For this one, I didn't even attempt it. This. Sometimes these things are easier to get out than others. Uh, the butters? Right? Yeah. Man, I haven't seen these in forever. Like, this is... Oh man, I forgot about these guys. That highlighter yellow sort of thing they have going on. I, uh... Th these were not a, a successful launch as far as commercial reasons go. Like. They didn't really make a whole lot of money, I don't think, for Team Yeezy. But 
I bought my pair. I'm cool with them, but they're definitely not winning any awards. I'll tell you that straight up. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes. You know, you, you get to buy things and you just see how you like them. When it comes to Yeezys, though, sometimes you need to see them, actually, almost every time. Like, 99% of the time, you need to see them in person to truly understand what you're getting into. What is this? What is this? Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. The black statics. Like I was saying, they do have the static thing going on. Not so much the black, though. There's some dark areas that might be able to be considered black. But one could argue that the majority of the shoe is not. Anyway, so there you go. There's that. You got the same thing, same stitching pattern as the statics. Just darker, right? Very simple. Have I worn these yet? It's looking like no. It's looking like no outside of possibly an on foot, but these are a little too clean. Anyways, once again, shout out to Bobby Sneaker World for coming through and getting these for me. Man. I had to, again, because last year, times were rough, right? So I put in a raffle, and I had to have somebody, well, I put it in for wherever people were going to be available. And he was available. I won the raffle. He picked them up for me, sent them to me. I, I remember that, because, like, they came out on a Saturday. He shipped them on a Saturday. And I had them on, like, Tuesday or something like that. Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, they, they got to... They gotta cross that water very quickly. So, what's going on in here? These will be the Desert Sages, ladies and gentlemen. This is a color that I do like, especially when, the, again, the 3M, when it hits this stripe here, that white really just, you would think it'd be off-putting, but for some reason it just happens to work very well. So these right here are definitely one of the shoes that I like a little bit more, Though they are very much the same colorway as an Ultra Boost S and L, which you'll see in an upcoming video. But which one do I like more? Mm, I honestly kind of lean towards that S and L pair overall. But this this has some nice things about it, right? Because again, like for people when they're Yeezys, it's like everyone's thinking like, oh, the Yeezys are the greatest thing in the world. It's like, eh. I mean, I could be just a little bit biased in the sense of like. I've become immune to the hype of them, but I'm trying to speak without all that being a part of the decision, you know? Also to the people, cause like I do get a, some comments and stuff every now and then, like on the easy things. I'm like, oh man, which one should I get? I'm trying to get some Yeezys. I wanna start buying shoes. It's like, your mind is already obviously in the wrong place, right? because you're trying to buy something that like impress people who probably already have it or something just buy something else buy whatever it is that's out there that you happen to like you know what i'm saying instead of just going out there and trying to see well this is the cool thing to get right it's like don't ask me like, i don't know what you like anyway so here's this right here this is the yeast reels i believe which uh haven't been worn yet i don't know why that tag is still on there i would imagine Oh, this must have been in that time frame when I wasn't doing on feeds and stuff. Yeah, that's what that was. But anyways, this is a really cool looking pair of shoes right here. I really like the green and the black thing going on here. Yeah, it's just very nice. Very nice to me. So, keep that moving right along. I will say one thing that I, I do like about these particular videos is that the editing is minimal. As long as I don't forget any pairs, I won't have anything to like slip in there later. It's like I don't have to cover like, you know, worry about like time stamps or something. I just get to do the video as it is. I think I've only worn these one time, these clays, and these are one of the best Yeezy releases in my opinion, period. I don't know why I haven't worn them more often. Well, actually, you know what I do? It's because I forget that they exist. Same reason I don't wear other stuff that I don't wear. I forget about it. I tell you, if I had some drop fronts or something, or this stuff was in the open area, like it's all tucked away in another room, maybe then I'd think about it more. But anyways, these right here, these clays are very nice. Very nice. I mean, what do you think? Do you like these? I'm asking you. So. Answer me, please. There's a comment section. You can drop down there and be like, oh yeah, man, those are those are cool. 
But the thing is, if you watch this video like months from now and you just say, yeah, man, I do like those. Some people do that. And like, I'll, I'll see this, it'll be a video that's months old. And I'm like, what are they talking about? If I'll just make comments based on things that I say in the video, I'm like, dude, like you gotta stop acting like I made this thing today. Like some dude asked me yesterday, like, hey, how much did you pay for those shoes? It was some them blue 720s. I'm like, I don't know. This, this video is like over a year old. Like, and I only bought them to do this wear test. Like, who who knows? Uh, what was this the Earths? This was this was the first easy or the first raffle that I won through Finish Line. Yeah, I won through them twice. I want to say I think I got some University Gold Twelve through them too. But yeah, so these. Not a bad color. This is kind of what I thought that the sesames were closer to. Not sure why, but maybe I just had things mixed up in my head. Because, you know, if you look at enough of these, it all starts to run together. Alright. Three more, people. Three more. And we're out. God, I can't believe it. This stack of these things. Oh. Well, this is a good 350 to end on. This is actually, like, my favorite one. Period. No questions, no hesitations. That's why I have two. The other pair is down at my mom's house. I'm not one of those double up and keep them both here kind of people. I keep the other pair where I can wear the other pair because this pair is here. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my take on the whole double up situation. But yeah, man, when I saw these coming out the first time, I was like, yep, I'm going to get these. And then, of course, I didn't because, you know, it was the time when Yeezys were hard to get. But then they came back and, like, normal person numbers and everybody's like well i don't want them now if they're not limited it's like you didn't really want them in the first place but anyways i got my pair and now we're good I have to throw that s on there you know plural plural make it known all right all right now the 380 right the sole 380 of my collection all right this is the blue oat. This is the blue oat right here. Pretty much the same colorway as those Texas 36 trails that I have. And not super far off in some of the coloring as those clays. But what sets these apart is that I just don't really like them a whole lot. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's decent. But at the same time, just based solely off of this, I can't tell anybody to go out and buy a pair of 380s. They have a look that like, you have to figure out if you like that for yourself. And then as far as the comfort goes, I don't see anything great about them. I really don't. I mean, I wore them around in the house like that one day for the review, just to kind of get my thoughts. Then I actually wore them, I think I wore them to the gym not too long ago or something, just so I could like really walk, walk around in them. I don't know. I mean, maybe if the right color comes along, then it's like, okay, because they're not, like, terrible. But definitely not a run out and get sort of thing. None of this is, honestly. But, you know, that's just my take on it. A little follow-up now that I've actually worn them. Man, that sound. Like. All right. And now, the final one, right? I bought these because they were... Adidas was like, hey, you're you're in our special club. You want to buy these shoes? And I was like, you know what? Let's see what all the hype is all about, right? So these are the Wave Runner 700s. They got some really nice quality materials on them. It's just like the look overall is just not sure how I feel about it. It's one of those things I was going to like trade them for something or whatever. But now I'm wondering like maybe I will just like wear them a bit so I can see how I feel about them. Because I do still want those inertias, like the first ones that came out, not the second ones. But, whatever. It's something that I'll figure out later. So anyways, there's that. We have done it, people. We have ended this review, this collection video. Started with like the first pair I bought, and we're ending with the one that is likely the most sought after. <laughs> well, that was even louder than the last one. It's like it's just getting worse. Luckily, it's the last one. Anyways, so yeah, we ended on the one that is largely gonna be the most sought after of the bunch if you ask like you know a bunch of people so that means we are done i don't know how long this video was but if again if you watch the whole thing that's very cool like i feel like there's a lot of other stuff you could have done but for whatever reason if you did this instead that is all right it really is so i i super appreciate it
But for now, I got one more video to do after I clean this crap up and then bring the next crap over here anyway. So, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm going to go get these things knocked out so I can sprinkle them out there throughout the week and you have something to watch. All right. Later, people.